So today I'm doing experiments after a very long time and I thought, you know what, let's do a vlog. Lots of people have been asking for a day in the life kind of vlog. So this is going to be very quick. So right now I'm working on trying to dissolve this new polymer. So this is a thermoplastic polyurethane and one of its special properties is that it's very stretchable. So essentially they've given it to us in, I don't know if you can see this, this like kind of film. It's quite hard and I just broke off bits of it and put into these vials. And then what I'm going to do is to add two different solvents. So one is chloroform and the other is tetrahydrofuran, if you can see here. So I've already weighed them on this scale, plopped them in as you can see, if you can see, you can kind of hear the bits rattling around. Because it's cold, this polymer has become quite brittle. You can hear it's quite glassy as well. So right now I'm going to put some chloroform into this and I'm gonna need 12 milliliters. Don't mind my hair, I wore a hat today on the way because it's so cold and it's all frizzed up and weird looking. <laughs> so we like to use this little thing which on the end is a little ball and if I press this it deflates and then inflates and deflates. So there's an S button here that I think it means suck and there's an E button here which means empty. So essentially I'm gonna put this in and press S as you can see if you can see hopefully you can see the level of the solvent is rising and I'm just gonna make it go to 10 and then kind of just plop it in here I really hope you can see what I'm doing okay so I'm gonna need two more milliliters of that so let's take it all the way up to three and then two and then plop the rest in okay so put the caps back on these and here is our solution that now needs to dissolve. I don't know how clearly you can see this, but it's already starting to dissolve. What I can do to speed up the process is to put this into a speed mixer and I'll show you that now. So here, this is our speed mixer. If I switch it on, it will make a loud noise as the fans ramp up. We can put in our vial here, plop it in here. As you can see, I'm trying to do this with my left hand and film with my right hand, so do mind me. Plop it in there, close the lid, press start and it's gonna make a loud noise, okay? And on the top, we can see the can. It is spinning very, very fast. I don't know if you heard that, but on the top, we can see that it's spinning very, very fast, and that will help our solution dissolve so that we can spin it later on. Okay, so let's take our solution out. It's done spinning for about three minutes. Let's see what has happened. Wow, you see the difference? It is almost a full solution. And if you see carefully, there is a bit of polymer left in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this on for another few times. And whilst I do that, I'm gonna make the other solution. Okay, so the THF is different because it's a different type of vial. You can't just pour it out. It's got this special syringe thing where you have to put a needle in and take out the amount so we'll do that now this is my hypodermic needle and this is the syringe so it's going to look a bit of scary <laughs> so this is going to look a bit scary if you're afraid of needles or oh, i've got two by accident so this is the needle and this is the syringe or i like to call syringe look at this that's scary so we're gonna take the thf and kind of invert it put the syringe in and take out six mil twice. We've got a nine mil. So we're gonna do nine plus three. That gives us 12 milliliters. Yeeks, this is not coming off. So look at this. Gonna pour it straight into the solution. And of course, you need to be very careful. I should be wearing goggles, which I'm gonna put on now actually. How do I look? <laughs> I keep looking at myself in the camera. Okay. So another three milliliters into here. Invert, poke, and pull. Very important to wear goggles because whilst I'm pushing this, the pressure is building up in the syringe and it's kind of splattering everywhere. So it's very important to wear all the health and safety stuff. And then close that. And here we are, we have the second solution, which is THF with the thermoplastic polyurethane. So I've got my two solutions. What I'm gonna do now is try to dissolve them. And then I'm just gonna wait 24 hours until I spin them, just to allow the dissolution process to completely take place. Sometimes when I use a speedy mixer, it looks dissolved, but the polymer chains inside aren't completely dissolved. Okay, so I've realized I've got a little bit of a problem, not really a problem, but 
when someone sends you a new polymer that hasn't been spun before, you have to kind of guess what concentration that is going to work at, what concentration it will spin at. So currently these look mostly dissolved, but they are very, very runny. And now runny doesn't always mean it's an indication that it's not going to spin, but usually when it's this runny, it's just not going to spin. There's just too much solvent and there is not enough polymer chain entanglement. So what I'm going to do now is probably going to double the concentration. So, so the concentration of these polymers was 10 weight percent. And I think I'm going to make it 20 weight percent by adding two grams more in each solution. So back with the gloves. So just to show you, this is the polymer that they sent. Very cool looking stuff. So I'm going to break off two grams and I'm going to put it into this one. So I'm actually just going to do it with one because I don't want to waste the little polymer that I do have and kind of see if the viscosity increases. So I have my weighing boat over here, plop it on, put the scale on, make sure I tear it and make it zero, grab my polymer. And right now, because it's cold, it's very brittle. L listen to this, if you can hear this. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> Let's try again. Okay, that went flying, but yeah, it's very brittle right now. I've actually lost a bit of the polymer, which I shouldn't have done like that, but okay. So that is 0 0.14 grams, 0 0.4 grams. Half of it is brittle and half of it's not. It's really weird. It is a thermal resistive polymer, I think. So it's temperature sensitive. It's actually really hard now to, it's not that brittle. Half of it's brittle, like I said, and some of it's not. Okay, now we got that. So I might have to resort to using a scissor or just trying to tear it. Nope, it's so, it's so strong. I found a brand new scissor just to cut this. Because that's one way to open a pair of scissors. So now I'm gonna try to get two grams into this pot. That's a lot better now. I don't know if you can hear it, but some of it's actually brittle, so it makes the cracking sound. Okay, so that is around two grams. And this is all the polymer I have left, so let's really hope that this works now. Grab the vial with the chloroform and just plop it in. You can hear that noise, satisfying noise. Plop the lid back on and hopefully this time it works. And that's gonna be it for this video. I just, so that's just gonna be it for the vlog. I thought I'd just do a vlog to get back into things. If this video gets a lot of likes, I'm gonna do another one. And yeah, thank you for watching.